So this video is showing you how to do a uh, self-massage around the ischiorectal fossa and you don't have to worry about what that is specifically but just know where the landmarks are. Um, so these two points are your sits bones so if you were to either sit on um, a chair or if you were to lie down then you're, it's essentially your butt bones or your sits bones so you're going to feel for where um, those bony um, points are underneath your butt cheeks and then you work in towards the center. So you can do one side at a time um, using some type of massage oil or cream will be really helpful. Right here in the center is your perineum. Here you have your anus and then you have the vaginal opening. So looking at where your sits bone or feeling for where your sits bone is, you're going to use your thumb or you can have your partner use their thumb and it's just going to be kind of like a stripping motion, just moving um, from the pubic bone down towards the tailbone. And so you can go close to the sits bones. You're going to be working both a lot of external muscles, so a lot of the glute muscles, as well as a lot of um, more internal, uh, deeper muscles like the, um, the pelvic floor muscle specifically. So you'll do the stripping motion. Um, as you get closer to vaginal opening, anus, go a little bit more gentle just because um, that tissue is a little bit more delicate. Um, but then you can go kind of like in a diagonal direction. Um, and you just want to, you know, get a sense as to the amount of tension that's there. And then you should feel it, you know, softing, it should be melting. Um, it should definitely feel a lot softer compared to when you started. And then you can definitely do the same thing on the other side. Another um, area that you can also work on, um, so here's the vaginal opening. These are um, more of the um, uh, superficial <laughs> pelvic floor muscles that you're gonna work on. And so um, what I did with you is I used um, my fingers and I kind of sunk into the tissue and felt that amount of tension that's there. So you can do the same thing. So either yourself or your partner it might just be like one finger or two fingers. And so again, you'll just kind of feel for the sits bone and then for the ridge of your pubis, your pubic bone right here. And then you're just gonna, again, just move down. So you can move down kind of in a diagonal direction. You can also just hold in that space and then breathe. So thinking of trying to take that inhalation, bring that breath down and towards the pelvic cavity, feeling for that breath helping to expand that space, create a little bit more space there. Um, and then again, you just take about maybe two to three minutes, um, whether it's holding, whether it's creating a little bit of some movement, um, working with the breath, to feel that those tissues um, are a little bit softer um, than before. And then you can do the same thing on the other side.